Have we had IVF and the response is not what we expected? Let's look at the concept of FSH receptor challenges. And this scientific review explores how genetic differences between two components, FSH stimulating hormone and its receptor can shape outcomes in women's fertility treatments. Normally, the FSH is a hormone produced by the brain that stimulates the ovaries to grow follicles, which are sacs containing eggs, playing a central role in fertility and menstrual cycle regulation. During assisted reproductive techniques like IVF, doctors use synthetic FSH to help ovaries produce multiple eggs, but the response to these drugs is sometimes unpredictable. Despite having normal test results, while others are hypersensitive and face risks such as ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. Recent research has revealed that these variations are often caused by small differences in genes related to FSH and its receptor, known as single nucleotide variants or polymorphism. For example, changes in the FSH beta chain or FSH receptor genes can result in hormone sensitivity and need for higher dose modifications. And fewer eggs obtained, or in some cases, increase the risk of overstimulation. Some women have gene variants that make their FSH receptor less effective, meaning they need a higher dose of FSH to achieve a good response. Others are more sensitive and may require a lower side effect. This paper, in fact, gathers evidence from dozens of studies and meta-analysis showing that a person's genetic makeup, which is pharmacogenomics, can help personalize fertility treatments. For instance, knowing an FSH receptor genotype, doctors could adjust the medication dose to optimize egg retrieval and lower risk. And that can probably help in improve your chances of, seg- of pregnancy. The question is, why is it not being used? And that's because there are limitations. There's no consensus on the best genetic marker to test and large randomized controlled trials are needed to find out which genetic makeup may help us to know and how to act. Costs of genotyping are improving, but not universal. Despite science is moving fast and the evidence suggests that future IVF is likely to include these genetic screening as a routine step. At present, it is not fully available and the future may hold a better scope.